This is a better snare drum circuit. Sounds pretty good and it's loud enough on very low volume from the speaker. And there's that white noise circuit put through a envelope generator and a VCA. So here's the schematic. So this is the white noise circuit that um, I made yesterday. Um, and it's basically um, a way to generate white noise. So the way this works, as I explained yesterday, is you have uh, 12 volts going in through a 100K resistor into the emitter of a transistor. Uh, this could be any multi-purpose, general purpose NPN transistor. Um, the base is going to ground. Uh, the signal is going through a high pass filter here, so through a one microfarad capacitor and then down uh, to ground through another 100K resistor. Then it's going to an op amp for amplification. This amplifies it to about 145-ish. Um, <clears throat> and then there's your white noise. And so I demonstrated it yesterday um, where you just basically, it just comes out as smooth white noise. Now, how do we turn that into a um, drum or a snare drum or a hi-hat type sound? And, um, you know, it took a while for me to understand this, but basically you need two other things. You need a envelope generator and a voltage controlled amplifier. So um, an envelope generator um, is basically um, where you actually trigger the circuit. So um, it generates a voltage um, and it takes the trigger pulse. Um, this is a, this 4.7 K resistor is a, is a pull down resistor. And what it does is it just keeps the signal low until the trigger kicks in. And then when the trigger kicks in, it goes through um, basically a high pass filter here. Uh, that high pass filter, um, or a capacitor rather, and when it goes through the capacitor, um, it uh, it makes the signal into a, into a positive voltage here and a negative voltage here. So once you have the positive voltage and the negative voltage, you don't want the negative voltage, so you need this diode um, and this diode to get rid of that. And so it gives you a single spike um, where the capacitor charges instantly and then decays. Um, and the decay is based on um, a the capacitor itself leaking plus whatever resistor you put to ground. So in this case, uh, we have a 10 microfarad capacitor um, that charges up. And once it charges up, then what happens is um, it has to decay somehow to ground. Um, so it charges up instantly and you put a um, one meg potentiometer here. Um, you can make it a little lower uh, depending upon what instrument you're trying to recreate, what signal you're trying to recreate. And it gives you a signal output from to here through this 33K resistor, um, which, you know, if the, the potentiometer is all the way down, it's gonna discharge very quickly. It'll be a very short pulse or a very long pulse, um, depending upon how much resistance you put into the decay pot here and so on maximum it'll be some something like this and it's based on the rc time constant you know so uh um capacitance times resistance and um and that could be calculated out um one over two pi times rc um <clears throat> so anyway what does this give you this gives you a voltage and that voltage um, is what you need, and this is how you're going to shape this white noise sound. So um, that voltage controls not the actual sound, but it controls the, um, the it controls the um, volume of the signal that you're putting in. So, and that's the voltage controlled amplifier, and that's the last part of this that's needed. And so here I have. A voltage controlled oscillator and so 
voltage controlled oscillator is basically a single transistor. Um, it, uh, this is technically part of the voltage. This is not part of the voltage controlled oscillator. This is just part of the, the white noise circuit that you're trying to generate. Um, but it goes through a capacitor and then there's a capacitor to ground here and that filters out, um, various frequencies. The larger the capacitor here, the more bassy the sound and you get a snare type of effect. The smaller the capacitor here, um, the, uh, the higher pitch the sound you get. And so this transistor is basically biased um, on the base to power and um, to VCC here with the one meg um, uh, uh, resistor here. And then what happens is the signal that the white noise signal, which I drew out here, is coming through, it goes into the base of the transistor and the transistor amplifies it. And it amplifies it in the shape of the envelope that you put in to the collector side of the NPN transistor. So um, this diode just blocks the negative voltages that will come to the voltages that come through here um, and it blocks uh, all of the, the negative voltages from or the, the stray voltages that that get amplified. And what you have um, is the output right here um, taken from the collector and that's put through another capacitor and that's the, um, the C2 cap and that's the basically uh, similar in a similar fashion, the larger the cap, the more bassy sounds come through and so that produces a snare drum type of effect if you make it one nanofarad uh, uh, and um, it, for a smaller, if you put a smaller cap in like 680 picofarad um, it will give you a more a hi-hat type sound, uh, a, a, a higher uh, frequency will go through. Um, and so that envelope controls the voltage controlled amplifier um, and the signal gets amplified based on the amount of voltage coming through here. And so this is the, th these are the three pieces you need in order to generate the um, noise percussion circuits, which include the um, snare drum, hi-hat, and the cymbal. The cymbal is a little bit more complicated because you need to add some metallic noise to it. So you kind of need two separate voices mixed in together, but the white noise is definitely going to be a part of that too. And so that's uh, in my next uh, project. And this took me a little while to understand the mechanics of it, but um, that this is how it works and it works very well. Um, so on to the practical part. So I have here the circuit configured as for the hi-hat and you can hear it in the background coming from that speaker. Sounds pretty good. Um, and so I'm gonna do various test points to demonstrate the concept. So here's the white noise actual circuit. And I'm gonna plug it into the oscilloscope here. And that's what it looks like. A 1.5 volts peak to peak, 1.45. Now, if I take the oscilloscope and I measure at the location of that 10 microfarad capacitor, which is getting charged up and down with the decay. And this is gonna be a demonstration of what the envelope looks like. The potentiometer that controls the decay is right there. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it because I don't have enough hands, but if I put the probe of the oscilloscope on that, you can see the envelope. And that decay is controlled by the potentiometer. Now, if I put the probe on the actual signal that gets output, you get something that looks like this. Where the envelope generator is superimposed on the white noise signal, kind of like handing the two signals together. And that is the way the VCA works. Um, basically, the envelope controls the volume of the signal that's being allowed through. And as it decays down to zero, the signal becomes... Um, minimal. So here's a more boosted version of it and you can see just the white noise 
in shape kind of like the envelope is shaped. And that together makes a white noise, um, a, a hi-hat type of sound in this situation. And I have uh, the two capacitors that I'm using are fairly small. I have a 680 picofarad capacitor right over there. And um, that's C2. And then C1 is that uh, one nanofarad capacitor going to ground. So in case that is how the envelope generator along with the white noise input signal and the VCA in all interact with one another to, put, to um, give the effect of the synthesized hi-hat percussion sound. Um, and for the snare, it's just changing around those two capacitors, C1 and C2, uh, to be larger capacitors. Um, so I used the white noise generator from before, um, and I created a snare drum circuit. Um, all I had to do was add a um, voltage-controlled amplifier um, and an envelope generator, a swing-type single-transistor envelope generator. Um, and uh, it's going out to the speaker. Um, and it's basically the envelope uh, creates like a decay type of uh, picture um, that's controllable with this potentiometer um, through uh, a 10 microfarad capacitor and a 1 meg potentiometer. And um, it's got a sharp little punch coming from the LFO, the initial peak. And then after that, it decays down with the white noise. And um, sounds pretty good. And this is what it looks like on the oscilloscope. Uh, basically, um, you can see the white noise in the envelope coming out. And that's what it sounds like on the speaker. With the volume of which is really, really low. So, um, that's an even better snare drum. And it's a louder snare drum. Um, than I've built before, so I'll take it. Sounds pretty good to me. Thanks for watching. And this is a better hi-hat circuit. Same white noise generator as before. Um, now, using that amplifier to pre-amplify everything, instead of using the transistor, and then uh, there's a decay through this potentiometer, and, um, and all you have to do is change a couple of capacitors and put a very small capacitor to ground this voltage, a capacitor voltage divider, and another uh, really tiny capacitor to the output so it only gets the high uh, signals through, and it becomes a lot <clears throat> higher. Um, anyway, same white noise circuit. This is what it looks like on the oscilloscope. You see the noise coming through with the envelope generator. Um, so far it looks great.